The last one we're using for cardiovascular. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes. Cardiovascular examination, the position is patient in cardiac position. So you must come to the bed and adjust it to cardiac position. Is it clear? If you are not able to adjust it to cardiac position, you tell the examiner, please sir, I would have loved to place the patient on cardiac position. Is it clear? Patient in cardiac position, the, the cardiovascular examination is in parts. The first part is to check the pulses. Second part, blood pressure. Third part, jugular venous pressure. The fourth part, the heart. The fifth part, the lungs. We check for basal repetition because cardiovascular disease can cause uh, hormonary edema and you will have fine basal crests. Is it clear? Five parts in cardiovascular examination. So we start with the pulse. With the pulse, you use the pop of your fingers. You feel the pulse. You note the rate, the rhythm, the volume. And then you bring the other one, you check for radio radia synchronicity. Then you come to the femoral, you check radio femoral synchronicity or delay as the case may be. Other things they do in medicine are not important in a surgery. Is it clear? You don't bother to do them. You just waste your time. You won't get marks for them. All those ones, they begin to perfect for the arterial wall, locomotor bracalis, collapsing. Those are for medicine. Is it clear? So for surgery, check rate, rhythm, volume, radio radial synchronicity, radio femoral synchronicity. Then after that, you check for the blood pressure. If you go in the exam and you don't take your speak and they didn't put speak there, you will lose the mark for blood pressure. <laughs> the HOD has told you carry a, a diagnostic bag along that you put uh, 13 items, including toothpick, no, my bro. to use as a uh, as what no, my bro. for pin prick. Is it not so? And then you should carry Bedo, Jaja, and uh, Achampo. <laughs> so let's come back to cardiovascular examination. For the BP, you apply the cuff to cover two thirds of the arm. And then I want you to listen. The first thing you do. You put your fingers on the at, uh, radial artery, over the radial artery, to feel the radial pulsation. And then you inflate the balloon while checking when you notice you can no longer feel what? The radial pulse. Then you stop and raise it like 30 millimeters of mercury above before you apply your stethoscope. You apply your stethoscope on the medial aspect. That is where the radial artery is. Then you gradually deflate. Focus on the deflation. You gradually deflate. Gradually. Gradually. And then you read the blood pressure. If you want to do it and you go straight and put your stethoscope without first of all checking the radial systolic. Are you following? 
you will lose the mark because that is not how blood pressure is done. Why am I making that emphasis? Because most people have learned the wrong thing because of haste. Is it not so? If you want to do blood pressure, you just jump, put stethoscope there, and you pump. Is that not what most people do? That's the wrong thing. The right thing is to first of all use your hand to perfect the radial pumps. Is it clear? Then after that, when you have you can no longer feel the pulsation, you know that's the estimated systolic. You raise it 20 or 30 millimeters of mercury above, then you now apply the, diap uh, the diaphragm of your stethoscope and then you now listen. And then when you are deflating, they must see you deflate what? Slowly. When you say you want to save your time, you just deflate once. If blood pressure done like that, the examiner also will not give you the mark. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. So, you can do all this in three minutes. You learn it by practice. That's why we are doing this demonstration today so that after now, you go home and you practice. After that, we come to jugular venous pressure. Most patients in surgery will not have elevated jugular venous pressure, but you must show the examiner you are doing it. How do you do that? When it comes to that, you put your hand, you say, please look on your left, and then you inspect. Don't waste all your time there because most patients don't have. So once you inspect, you cannot feel it. You say, thank you, you keep the head back at the midline. Is it clear? And then you now come to the heart. For the heart, the first thing to do is inspection. You look to observe for precordial activities. They can ask you, those of you that will do short case, what is the precordial? Precordial. 